Well, good thing I did stop the recording there because after after I restarted it, I the quickly the game quickly froze on me. So, I had to restart and do a few things again. Oh, two golden saints this time. Yeah, I don't know where these guys are coming from, but they spawn somewhere around here, and I am happy to take them on. Last time one showed up, and then when I killed it, the game froze. So, let us soak up the hell out of some golden saints. No! Damn it. Yeah, that they cast a spell sometimes to get rid of soul trap on them. It won't work all the time. Because... I have more magic than you do. And I trapped a soul. Did I, did I trap both of them? Tell me I got both of them. Oh, it's under misc, that's right. I did! Hooray! So I'm up to... Damn. Got a lot. I don't think I'm going to find something for all these. Okay, so the ebony mace. Fortunately, I'm going to have to let that go. This, however, is what I've been waiting for, I think. Ebony shield compared to this, 162. Is it the same as what I got? It weighs... Wait, what? It weighs the same, but its value is less. Alright, so apparently that's not the shield that I was looking for. Um, apparently it's something else that they could have. It's not the natural leather one, that I know. We'll take that, though. We'll take that, so... Got a couple souls. We need to head straight south of here and head to the next camp, which is Zainab. And hopefully they won't have me do too many quests. It's on the other side of Tel Voss here. Or Voss and Tel... Tel... Tel Mora? I think this is Tel Mora around here. It's on the other side of that. Don't come for me, Ayla. It will not work out for you. So, we need to head pretty much south. It's, it's pretty much a straight shot, I think. Uh, to, uh, oh no, it's a little bit to the west. Okay. Die. What? Who is telling? Oh. Looks like something back there went into town and therefore must die. They're not talking about me, though. Alright, so. This looks pretty much the general direction of the way that I have to go. But I did complete all the quests in Ahamusa. Now twice. Is this... Zainab, it seems too small, so you guys are going to try to kill it. Yes. Yes, of course. Just die. Alright, so I don't think they ever have anything good on them, so I'm just going to stop checking. Uh, what is in your yurt, though? Another guy. Anything good in the barrels? Eggs. No. Okay, so let's just continue going south. Why is it that the Ashlanders at the big camps love me and will fight to the death for me, but if there's just a group of two or three of them, then no, you must die. All right, we're getting closer to the ghost gate again. It's probably not a good sign. Yeah, this is definitely the way. Just a little bit south here, and... We should find our way into the Zainab camp. There it is. That's not exactly welcoming looking right here. It's with like dead silt striders. You guys have a shop? Who's there? Goodbye. Did not want to talk to me. What's up? <laughs> Look, an outlander. You lost poor thing. Did the big bad beast bite you? Do you need a healer? Do you need a trader? So he can take your gold and give you things we would throw away or give to our guar. I am the Nervarine. We heard rumors. Some outlander says he is the Nervarine. So you are that outlander? What do you say to that? Tell my story and show my proofs. Is that all true? That's very. That's a very interesting ring. It is part of the story of the Nerevar, the ring, moon, and star that none may wear but Nerevar himself. You should talk to Ashkan Kausha. The Ashkan is very curious about this outlander who claims to be the Nerevarine. He's the mightiest champion and greatest Ashkan of all the Ashlander tribes. A very great man. You should talk to him. He is a very curious man, always speaks with traders and travelers about news of the world. Go ahead, a great chief. He does not stand on ceremony. You may enter his yurt if you are clean and courteous. Alright, Ashlan or Ashkan, 
Not the wise woman. Uh, those are usually like in these things, right? The middle one, Ashcan. Yep. They seem to have the similar layout. out. What's up? Koshad. So you are James Duran, the Outlander who claims to fulfill the Nerevarine prophecies. You are welcome to our hospitality, Outlander. But you must tell us, how can an Outlander be the Nerevarine? I am. Show my proofs. Ho, ho, excuse me. Do not think me rude, but seriously, do you believe this story yourself? I mean, no offense, but you must admit you are an outlander and completely ignorant of our ways. How could you ever be our war leader? What sensible Ash Ashken would ever choose you to lead the tribes? Persuade. Skies above, if talk were wealth, you'd make me rich. Don't you ever get tired of talking? Damn it. Okay, so let's do this again. Tell my story. Set me a task then. Very well. A vampire named Calvario has taken refuge in nearby Nerano ancestral tomb. If you are worthy as you say you are, it should be a small matter for you to dispose of this vampire. There, you have your task. Now perhaps you would leave me in peace for a bit. It's to the north, but you are a stranger and may get lost. Listen, go west from our camp until you reach the mountains. Then turn north and follow the mountains, keeping them on your left. When you pass the new ruins of Nachu left, keep your eyes to the east, looking for an entrance flanked by two trees on the western slope of a hill in the center of the Grayslands. This will be the Narano ancestor. Ancestral tomb. Alright, kill the vampire. Uh, I think I had mentioned before that I didn't know there were vampires in the game. Um, is that it right there? That'd be awesome. Just a small little track here. I see, like, yeah, I see a ton of big trees here. Is this it, Nerano? Damn it. <laughs> Venom. Damn you, Venom. Okay, so, yeah, past that you left. So I didn't know there were vampires. You can't actually turn into a vampire, um, based on what I've seen in, uh, other LPs. I have watched one or two Oblivion <laughs> LPs. But, uh... To be honest, I've never been one for, for vampires or anything like that. Uh, so it didn't really interest me. It sounded, uh, when I looked it up, like a long quest to get that done. So did not look interesting enough for me to do it in this LP. Plus, it seems like this game is going off as long. Well, too a little bit too long. I thought it wouldn't be this long, to be honest with you. Is this it? This doesn't look much like a tomb, but there's something here. No, it's a dungeon of Telboss. All right, is it gonna show up on my uh, local map? Telboss. All right, nothing particularly there. It did look f to the east. Uh, oh, there's an ogrim over there. Don't know how far up I need to go. Maybe that's it. Once again, two trees. Hooray! I found it. Let's kill me some vampires. Let's turn on hearth heal as well. <laughs> Haven't need to use that in a long time. What's up, Bone Walker? How you doing? Dandas. Dandas didn't make it. <laughs> I'm sorry for everybody that was a fan of Dandas. He didn't make it. He didn't make it. Just regular urns. Gold. Damn bones, damn bones, damn dead bones. Another book. Yeah. The Ransom of Zarek. How long is this? Athletics up. Oh, sorry. It's too long. It's too long. I will take it, though. I'm going to solve for a bunch. Alright. Hooray! Having a high security is finally paying off. As in, as soon as I got it, it was paying off. Uh, I don't really see anything else of interest here. What am I doing? What's up? Oh, it was a trapdoor. I didn't even notice it. Oh well. What's up, Ancestor Ghost? Now you are dead. How you doing, Vampire? Calvario. So we finally meet. <gasps> Two hits! My god. He was so powerful. What have I been accursed with? Why doesn't it go away? Vampire dust. Hooray. Can give me a potion of vampirism. So, I guess if I put that together with 
something else that does that, and I can turn into a vampire. Alright, where's my cure pos poison spells? I'm sure I've got a ton of them. At least one. Cure poison. Go away. Alright. There's my probe. Trapped is haunt. For nothing. Hooray. And what was this? Fire cheat. Yeah, no need. No need. Note from Bakarok. Morris, you've always better clear out. Our position was given away and we were raided by the bastard Goris. He sent a small band to the, of the dead to draw us and wiped out all but Luvin. He was able to make it back here to Nellis to warn us. We are clearing out and head for a new location. I suggest you and your boys get out of there as soon as possible. We have a snitch in our organization. And we find out who it is and I'll feed their flesh to the crabs. It seems as though he knows all of our raiding routes. It's just a matter of time before Goris sends them damned and dead your way. I'll never turn those goods over to that necro. What's fair is fair, and he had to pay up. You know where I'm coming from, and I'm sending Ursine to deliver this message to you. She will deliver a key so you can gain entry into the rendezvous point. See you soon, and good luck, brother. Bakarok. Ah, Bakarok. He was my friend. Oh wait, no he wasn't. And I killed him. Real damn fast. Who dare fights me out here? Where the hell did you come from? God. Freaking Nixhounds out of nowhere all the damn time. Who's still fighting me? I don't see any movement anywhere. I'm just moving on then. Okay, so we need to go back to the Zynab camp. Hopefully that is enough to prove that I have uh, all that it takes to be the Nerevarine. What? Oh, fucking shulk. Alright. Did I not kill the shulk? Oh, there's also a rat. And an Nick sound. What the hell? God, they, if you're going to have enemies constantly come at me like that, at least make them worth my while to stop and kill once in a while. You know, oh, maybe three or four hits. To be fair, I was killing these even when I didn't have Hope's Fire. These guys were always easy. Once I hit like level 10 or so. Well, maybe not the Nyx Hounds, but still. Like, fucking rats everywhere. It's not funny or interesting or clever to just spawn the same enemies throughout the entire game. I do mean the entire game. These things are never going away. I'm in the 40s, and I've already killed something that's probably harder than the main boss, and that's the DLC boss. The expansion boss. So I assume that I can kill anything in the game. But I shall test that when we go to Blood Moon, I guess. That will be the real test. Ashkan, I have done it! I have killed... Yes. Perhaps I should be an Nervarine. So you killed the vampire Calvario. Well, I'll be happy to acknowledge you as Zainab Nerevarine, but it is customary for one seeking an honor from the Ashkan to offer the Ashkan a generous gift as a mark of respect. But you are an outlander and do not know our customs. I will do you the great na favor of naming the guest I wish to receive a highborn Talvani bride, pretty one plump with big hips to bring me many sons. God, why do I have to get people laid all the time? Where you'll find a highborn Telvani bride? That is simple. You should visit highborn Telvani lords and for them that Ashkan Kaushad of the Lord Lezainab would do them the honor of making their daughter his bride. Surely many Telvani lords would be honored to receive such an author. Offer, consider carefully the many daughters offered and choose for me the finest. Take counsel with my wise woman, Sonumu Zabamat. She knows my mind well in such matters. She knows what kind of women turn me on. She's seen me masturbating many, many times. We don't talk about it very often. Wise woman. How do I turn him on? Um, uh, spells? What kind of spells you got? I ate the moon sugar. Oh, no, I didn't. I ate it again now. You happy? What kind of spells you got? Rapid regenerate. 
Uh, restore health. Dispel. I don't have that. I'll take that. Drain speed. Shield. Fortify willpower and luck. Uh, I already have that. Restore agility. Uh, restore intelligence. Restore personality. Cure poison. I thought I already had. Demoralize. Detect enchantment. None of the rest of them. I think I'm going to need. Okay, so uh, Ashkan Kashad. He's a clever Ashkan. A very great man. He's not a modest man. He is very proud and conscious of his rights and honors. It is fortunate for our tribe that he needs the counsel of his modest and loyal wise woman, me. Kashad wants a Telvani bride. Eh? No highborn Telvani would wed Nashlander, but I have a plan. Go to my friend Seville Emain, slave mistress of the festival slave market in Talarun, and tell her you need a pretty Dunmer slave to pose as a Telvani la lady. Then Seville Emain will tell you what clothes to buy, and will dress her like a highborn Telvani. Then escort the pretty slave to Zainab Cap, and present her to Ashkan Kashad as a highborn Telvani bride. He won't know the difference. Where, where is she? All right, Telerune. Uh, hooray! To Telerune, which is uh, north of... Well, I can find travel north of here in Tel Vos. Come on, leave me alone! Damn it, Guar! Why couldn't she be like the white Guar? The white one was good. The white one was good. Okay, so... Now we have to do more escorting. God, <laughs> this is gonna suck. And we have to do more pimping. Well, technically, no, I'm pimping. I'm, I'm. No, wait. What am I doing? I don't think there's a term for this. I'm, I'm buying a whore for somebody. I'm like uh, the best friend. I don't think there's a name for a guy that buys a whore for somebody else. At least I don't think there's a name. I think this is the way to the boats. So let's go this way. Telerune shouldn't be too far from here. Who is attacking me? Are you guys still like fighting like a cliff racer or something in here?